Hey Dandy. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overlord here. So I just got out of seeing the new Child's Play remake from MGM. Uh, Child's Play was directed by Lars Klevberg, written by Tyler Burton Smith. Uh, of course we know this is a remake, the dreaded remake to some of you that we are getting uh, of the original 1988 classic horror film Child's Play which gave birth to one of the best horror icons or one of the most well recognized horror icons in the pint size killer doll Chucky who at the time of that film was possessed by a killer named Charles Lee Ray. This new modern film does not involve any of that. It's it's in our time in this era. Uh, so we're in the age of technology and stuff. So it's, drawing, it's trying to draw fear from that. Uh, off the bat, I'm gonna say that this is not a bad movie. Definitely nowhere near bad. Uh, it's well acted, well directed. I think that the character development could have been a bit better in, as far as like the group of kids that we see Andy get involved with. Our main cast uh, consists of Aubrey Plaza, Gabriel, ba Gabriel Baderman, Brian C. Henry, and Mark Hamill, of course, as the voice of Chucky. And the score in this movie is done by Bear McCreary. The reason why I'm making mention of that gentleman's name is because the score in this movie really helps it out a lot. I think this is a phenomenal score and something that's very fitting for a Ch Chucky or Child's Play type of movie. Uh, but yeah, let's just get into what the good stuff is about this movie. The direction that they chose to take here in not making this a possessed killer doll thing all over again, I think that's that's real refreshing because I wasn't, I really wasn't looking forward to the remake. Then I saw that it wasn't gonna be diving into Charles Lee Ray again. I'm like, okay, well now, now I'm gonna be interested to see what they're gonna do here. Uh, so yeah, we're dealing with technology uh, this doll, the buddy doll, no longer good guy, repackaged as buddy doll. It can control Kaslin products, which is the company that created the doll. Uh, Kaslin has a whole variety of products, similar to how companies today like Ring and Nest, hey, they have a bunch of products. So like they have thermostats, doorbells, all type of security stuff that this doll can control. Um, what ends up happening, of course, you all know from the original, the doll goes haywire. Instead of being possessed, it goes haywire because it's artificially intelligent. And we find out what happened to the doll along the way, but I'm not going to get into that. But the voice, Mark Hamill's voice acting in this movie as the doll, I think he does an amazing job of making you feel very terrified uh, and also giving you that sense of dread, but then also reverting right back to that innocence of the doll. I think he does an amazing job. I think they picked the perfect person to replace Brad Dorf. Uh, he doesn't do as good as Brad Dorf, I would say, but from what we're seeing here, Mark Hamill, if they're gonna make more make more entries in this, what I, which I don't think they are, because I don't think they have the rights to do that. Uh, but Mark Hamill definitely is a good choice to keep playing Chucky if they want to do more with it. Uh, Aubrey Plaza, she, so I haven't seen a movie from her in quite a while. I never really thought she was a bad actress, and then here she really, I really feel for her a bit, because like the family's just getting out of a real, they, they we find out why they moved here. She's been through stuff. And we see that how that's affecting her character throughout the movie, the way she acts and the way she acts towards Andy. We find out some stuff that kind of makes sense out of it because she's not really acting like a parent in the movie. We find out why during a little instance she has with a co-worker of hers. We find out something about her in the time she had Andy. Uh, but yeah, Aubrey Plaza, I think she gave a very heartwarming performance. Uh, very believable. And the kid, the child actors in this movie, including the the kid actor who played Andy Gabriel Bateman he was he was phenomenal as well he was very believable uh I don't I didn't really necessarily like the character of Andy here I I feel like because the character's too old that was my gripe the character was too old and I'm glad they kind of they make they make mention of that and I think that's one of the one of the other pros about this movie it's kind of messing around with itself and taking poking fun at its own self and I always appreciate when a movie does that uh character of Andy way too old in my opinion for me to even care about him the same way I did with uh the original Andy but good character well written well acted uh very believable I felt for him uh the guy who played detective Mike Brian Brian Tyree Henry he was great not necessarily better than the other two but for what it was I think his character is very forgettable like I said some of the characters they feel underdeveloped uh that's just one of the one of the cons i think with the movie the characters feel they're underdeveloped 
The kills in here are very gruesome. Chucky is back to being his old ways with this new cut, of course, with this new take on Chucky. Uh, we get some kills, some, probably some of the most gruesome kills we will get in the franchise uh, from, from this franchise in, as a whole, including what Don Mancini has done. The kills in here are great. Acting is great. The score is great. Uh, the story, like I said, I feel like the story was fine. I didn't really catch too many plot holes. I might catch some more when I go back and rewatch it. As a whole, overall, I really enjoyed this movie. I think it's very well done. Uh, the direction is good. The production value, of course, looks phenomenal. I really like the way things are shot, the way things are put together. The only real problem here is the fact that you're only going to have a problem with this movie if you're trying to constantly compare it to the original, honestly. There is some comedy in here that I think is very, it feels out of place, uh, but it's never, it never gets to the point where it's over the top. It's never to the point where it's over the top. And when you're in those moments of dread, it feels very, you feel very uh, fearful for these characters because of the fact that they're dealing with products that we all are accustomed to. And I think that's one of the big selling points and why this movie is going to draw a lot of people and why it can be like the new Chucky of for this generation because everything is today we're involved smart devices thermostats lights everything voice assistants I think that's the direction that they took with Chucky in this new take is very gonna be very beneficial if they want to keep going with this franchise like again like I said before I don't think they can I don't think they will uh, I'm not really interested in seeing a Chucky that's just like this at all really but for what it was this was not a bad movie at all whatsoever I'm not going to really say I liked it, not going to really say I liked it, but I have no problem watching it. Definitely not something I would go back and rewatch over and over and over. But from what I saw here, this was not a bad movie whatsoever. None whatsoever. Um, maybe a little bit of an inflated rating for me, but I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. Uh, maybe I might drop it down, who knows, but for right now I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. Definitely go check out the new Child's Play remake. It is worth seeing if you want to see a different take on Chucky. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video or if you have seen Child's Play, let me know what you guys thought of it down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, subscribe and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to my social media accounts on my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to the movies, news, or reviews you like. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.